Now we're going to head back down to where the FCIC meeting just took place. They're on break right now, and our Peter Cook is standing by with the chairman of the commission, Phil Angelides. Peter? Julie, Mark, thanks very much. I am joined by Phil Angelides. Thank you for the time. Let me talk big picture with you before we talk about Warren Buffett. The credit rating agencies, you're uh, focusing your attention on them today. As you listen to the testimony today, as you've done your examination, your investigation, did they play a major role in the cause of the financial crisis? Are you able to conclude that yet? Well, I think it's clear they were central in it. Look, they, they, Moody's rated 46,000 or 42,000 securities AAA from 2000 to 2007, 9,000 alone in in 2007 and you know 80 to 90 percent of these were downgraded from investment grade to junk status they were huge enablers of these toxic mortgage securities so clearly they were they were there at the scene of the crime as as it were and you suggested a approached fraud i think i'm using your words correctly well here's what i said if your product that you're selling and this was 50 percent of moody's revenues if the product you're selling is a rating that is supposed to be a value to investors, I mean, they failed miserably. I mean, they produced a product that ended up, as I said, even if you don't use the legal term, a fraudulent product. This is as if United Labs that tests electrical equipment tested toasters and 90% of them blew up in people's homes. So let's just call it for what it is. I mean, there may be a lot of reasons. The, uh, the fact that the rating agencies were paid by the bankers. It may be that they were just ill-equipped to understand the mortgage market. It may be the management didn't accord enough resources to this job. It may be they just missed this housing bubble big time, but it was a failure. Well, that, the argument from Warren Buffett and from uh, Mr. McDaniel was more so that last argument, that they missed the housing bubble, but so did everybody else. Well, that that's was just the not, not everyone else. Look, th this is what everyone says now. Oh, we couldn't have predicted 30% housing pl price declines, but you know, what goes up will come down. People know that. They may have deluded themselves, but 89% price increase from 2000 to 2007 in home prices in this country. We never had anything like that. Plus, there were a lot of yellow and red warning lights along the way. Mortgage fraud reports from the FBI. Moody's itself, Mark Zandi, head of uh, Moody's.com. Their own research. Their own research said in October 2006 that there was going to be a crash, a crash in housing in 20 major metropolitan areas, half the housing market. Market, yet they went ahead in 2007 and rated half a trillion dollars in mortgage securities AAA. They just kept chugging along. It's like that old I Love Lucy episode where she's working in the chocolate factory. They just couldn't get the chocolates coming down that conveyor belt fast enough. You know, I missed that episode, well, but I know young. what you're talking it's about. It's a great episode. Uh, let me just ask you about Warren Buffett. You sort of pressed him on this. This is yeah. the one perhaps tense moment in there where you said as a corporate shareholder, the largest shareholder, Moody's, did he bear a particular responsibility for making sure Moody's did its job in this area? Uh, were you satisfied with his response no but I think he gave look he he was very forthcoming you know this is not a matter of agreeing it's a matter of probing hard but here's what I think I'm after our system of capitalism almost came apart it depends on reasonable corporate management taking reasonable risks it relies on regulators and I think it relies on the responsibility of shareholders and boards of directors you know there, there's a game that goes on but there's also supposed to be some referees some people who are exercising constraint and my gosh if shareholders and boards don't do it who will issuer pays that's the current business model you raise questions about it uh, Warren Buffett says listen I don't like it I gotta pay as an issuer himself but he can't come up with a, a better model have you well, I think there's some other models. I'm not sure that this works. This is almost like Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, the profit motive mixed with a housing mission motive. Their job should be to give quality ratings. And if the drive is profit, 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 and you know what happened here is profits went up, they didn't provide the resources, it's a conflict. So United Labs, they're nonprofit, they test electrical equipment, works pretty darn good. Consumer Reports, uh, which is uh, they rate products, but no one who has products pays. Works pretty good. I think we need to th rethink this whole model. It's broken, and it still poses a risk. What about those who suggest, listen, let these uh, investors do their own due diligence. We don't need credit rating agencies. Well, I think for a lot of investors, they need to rely a lot more on their own due diligence. But it's pretty shocking that Moody's really didn't do any due diligence of their own. You know, they didn't go down and visit housing markets, look at loans, look at borrowers. But again, some reasonable system where the un uh, kind of qualified goal is quality ratings ought to be our goal. And right now, we're not there. Uh, again, you heard from Warren Buffett. You heard from Mr. McDaniel of Moody's. Are, are you unfairly picking on Moody's? here you've got major rating agencies that aren't at this table today. we pick on everyone fairly in the sense that's a joke we don't pick on anyone 
you know, the fact is we're doing a set of case studies. We looked at Citigroup. We looked at Bear Stearns. Um, We've had J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs in front of us. We looked at credit rating agencies overall. If you go to our web at fcic.gov, you'll find an excellent paper on the credit rating agency business and industry. We're picking individual case studies to give us a feel for how this crisis developed and how it occurred. Are you going to meet your December deadline? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And what about uh, the next step in this investigation? Credit rating agencies today, you have one more panel today. Where do you go next? Um, we will be looking at derivatives uh, and their effect on the financial crisis. We'll be looking at the impact of too big to fail institutions. Uh, we'll be looking at the effect of speculation and excess risk in the marketplace. All right, Phil Angelides, he's the head of the Financial Crisis Inquiry Commission.